Eric, and today I'm going to be giving you some great, great information on how to build your own capture page. In fact, I'm going to be giving you your own capture page uh, HTML code for you to implement on your website, and then I'm going to show you how to actually um, put it on your hosted website. Then I'm also going to I'm also going to show you how to um, add your own custom video, change the text that's on there, and then also plug in your own AWeber information so that you can actually have a fully functional capture page just for you. So let's go ahead and get started. This is my capture page or just one of my capture pages. And today I'm going to give you, like I said, everything so you can get the same thing done. Let's go ahead and get started. Click on the button below to go ahead and get the document needed for this. Okay. And this is what it looks like. You're going to make your way to docstock.com and you're going to see this entire document here laid out. All you have to do is simply download it. Once you download it, this is what it looks like. Once you download it and you hit the download button, obviously you open up the file. It opens up in, um, in Microsoft Word so you can actually use it right now after you open it up. Okay, So you open it up and this is what it looks like. It's going to be in a document form. Make sure you copy all of it. Then what you're going to do is you're going to log over to your host, which for me is Bluehost. I, I strongly recommend Bluehost. You can see all the list of benefits here, unlimited domain hosting, um, free space, just tons of great stuff. It's the one I use, the one I suggest. Um, anyhow, once you do this, this is only for Bluehost. I'm sure it's going to be some, something similar like this if you're hosted on another site. So let's go ahead and log in here. Okay, as you can see here, I am going into the file manager. Once you go inside the file manager, make sure you pick your domain. Um, if this is for Bluehost, then you just follow these steps. If it's for somebody else, you just go ahead and, um, and make sure you go to your file manager inside of your hosted website. Okay, so for this example, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have a new file, okay, or a new folder rather, and I'm going to make this one called Test2. And Test2 is just a folder to help me better identify um, you know where this file is actually going to be placed. Once you do that, go ahead and open it up. Actually, I'm going to rename this thing real quick. I'm going to rename it to lowercase test two. I'll show you why here in a second. So, okay, so lowercase test two. Let's go ahead and open up the file inside of here. I'm going to go ahead and create a file name inside of it, and I'm going to call it uh, test dot html and the reason why it's html is because we're going to insert this html document go ahead and create the file after that go ahead and edit it so you want to edit the html information that's inside once you're inside you can see at this page this is what the actual page looks like it's absolutely blank what you want to do is you want to go down to the source code and you're going to see this little bit of information up here make sure you erase that and then what you do is you paste everything from your um, your Microsoft Word document. Remember, we copied all of this. I'm going to go ahead and just copy it here so you can see. Once you copy it, you just paste it right inside. And now you will see that all this code is entered inside. Now, there are a few things here you can obviously identify right off the bat. Here is some yellow information here. This is where you can change, uh, change the title. The first one here is the title of the page. So if you want your landing page to be um, number1businessopportunity.com, that's where you put that, okay? And then your meta content, this is a description and information for um, search engines to identify this page. You won't be necessarily relying on a capture page for search engine optimization, uh, but it is optional for you and it's a great habit to get involved in, especially if you're doing keyword research, okay? So you can see right down in here, it, you're gonna require um, some different places to place information. Uh, and we're going to go through some of this right here right now to go ahead and plug it. But first, I want to show you what the page looks like once you load this. It's going to be a blank template with a little bit of information on here. Okay, you can see that uh, all this has information for you to be able to edit um, right here inside of your control. All you have to do is start typing. Okay, you want to make sure that you fit this guideline. The first one up here is you're called your pre-headline, then your headline, and then your sub-headline right here. We're going to embed a video here and then obviously enter in all of our information for AWeber so we can create an opt-in form. Plus, as you can see, here's a whole bunch of areas for you to put bullet points for whatever information you're looking to give away. You don't necessarily have to use these, and in case you want to get rid of them, you can just simply delete it. And then once again, we're going to place our AWeber information here as well. Um, so this is what your, your template looks like. Let's go ahead and start customizing.